I'm Howard Hale with the Horseman's Corner, bringing you useful information from people involved with the world of horses. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. Here's a really interesting event that's coming up this weekend. That's an online art festival. Cowboy True is the name of it. There's some items up there right now, benefit items that you can bid on. And you can find them by going to eggsearch.us and typing in Cowboy True. Go to eggsearch.us, type in Cowboy True. This is really a neat art festival. To find them, go to eggsearch.us and type in Cowboy True. Texas Bit and Spur Maker Dan Shores is the co-chairman of that Cowboy True Arts Festival. Yesterday we talked about the bands and how he fits those to the boots. What do people like as far as the shanks and the rowels are concerned? Depends, again, on the size of the person. And you ride big, fat horses, or do you ride slim, or do you ride a lot of colts? Keep them bending your knees too much. If you're long-legged like I am, uh, most any horse I've ever rode, I kick them under the belly. But I'm real long-legged. If I'm short-legged, then you'd have a different shank. What kind of steel do you use to make these uh, shanks and bands? 4130. It's a hard steel on most of them. Some, sometimes I use a mild steel on. How tough is that steel to work with? Some of it's pretty tough. <laughs> Get it heated properly. When you go to bending on it, it's, it's pretty tough. Same thing, doesn't it? Texas bit and spur maker Dan Shores and... A set of his spurs is a part of the benefit auction for that Cowboy True uh, art festival that's going to take place next weekend. Thanks for joining us. Great to have you along. May God bless you. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.